Morning to it's time. We got a little drizzle going, but uh good wind and it's supposed to stop raining here in the next 30 minutes to an hour, so we'll be fine. We're about to head out, uh, go get on a ridge, wait for the sun to come up, and then start glassing for the rest of the day. Uh, we're gonna get it done today, I feel it. I hope. What do you think, Zach? Pretty good. Gonna happen today? Oh yeah. All right, so we're glassing this side. Jeff was glassing the back side, and there's like five, five shooters behind us, so we're gonna make our way up to this next ridge, and they're coming down, so we're gonna try to cut them off, see if we can get a shot of one. See the far left one? Broadside. The far left one. Yes. Shoot him right in the chest, right in the shoulder. Farther. Okay. Yes. Shoot him right in the chest, right in the shoulder. Got him, dude. Alright guys, we got it done, second morning, actually it's the first morning of the hunt. Got in last night, or yesterday evening, hunted yesterday evening, and uh, Zach got him a giant first. And watched him for a while, and a big group of rams stayed around him for a while, and I took the opportunity and got me a giant too, so that was awesome. What do you think? Uh, hunt of a lifetime. Biggest, uh, well, it's your first all that, huh? First and biggest. Heck yeah. <laughs> you might not ever beat that one. No. Nope. So, so we're gonna go uh, check them out, get some pictures, and we're eating all that back strap for dinner. There she is. What do you think? Giant. Put your hands on it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I think it's old. Horns are all broomed off. Heck yeah, dude. Yep. Good shot. That was awesome. Definitely an old one. Good shot. That's a nice first all day, that's for sure. Yeah.
That thing is old. Perfect how big, shot. How big his belly is. Yeah, yeah, on on that. On. Oh. That's crazy. Good job, dude. Perfect shot. Seven mag. I'm not surprised he went as far as he did. Yeah, I know. Well, there you go. Big old paws. Mine's not far. We can go check him out now and then uh, get some pictures. There. <laughs> Literally 20 yards apart. Dang. He's a stud, too. Yeah, that's my biggest for sure. <laughs> Golly. That's a stud. That's 30. That's 35. Really? 34. Oh my god. Yeah. That's nice. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of young men here. Yeah, it's gonna be a doozy. That is insane. Wow. Thank you, buddy. I think it'll be close. Yeah, that's a monster. Especially that right side. Well, this isn't quite like New Mexico was. We are up high, you can see. Uh, and we're a long way from the road, so we're gonna field dress them and try to drag them out of here. But we might have to pack them out and quarter them up. But we're gonna get after it and uh, see if we can drag them out of here. Here's your koozie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we did it. You giant. Now for the fun. That was the easy. That was the. That was the true hard part. Now it's just enjoying our time here from now on. El Jefe's up next. He came as the uh, cameraman on this trip, but he's a. Uh, He's gonna go after one now. Now that we got ours down, he's gonna go out this afternoon and try to get him one. All of our laptops. What I say, Jeff, in the truck? 32. It was a 32. It was 32 and three quarter. 32 and three quarter. <laughs> I can't even imagine what a 36 inch would be. I couldn't imagine what 32 would look like until now. 32 and a half. Pretty symmetrical. Heck, yeah. So this is just a box truck. A, uh, I guess it's food service, obviously. And they put it on I-beams and they built all this in one day. I wish I could do this stuff like that, but I can't. From here back, we hauled up here with no roof on. And then we hauled that up here. And when we got here, we built this one. Oh, those are some serious I-beams. Yeah. 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 But they got, as you probably saw us rolling them in there, they got this littler I-beam that connects to another I-beam that goes all the way into the cooler. And you can just take them right out of the truck straight to the cooler pretty pretty cool Zach good day success big thanks to base map uh, congratulations to Zach on his first all dad and winning this hunt um, if y'all want more stuff like this y'all leave in the comments um, base maps a great company if you don't have the app go ahead and go download it their link will be in the description and uh, maybe you can win a hunt like this one day all right guys so 
Um, we waited to clean up. Jeff is behind the camera and we're gonna try to get him on one now. And uh, he let us take the truck and he told us where to go but I don't know where to go, so. Base map, coming in clutch. And uh, we're gonna find out where we're at. There's about 20 creek bottoms we cross. And he said, go to the creek bottom and you're there, so. Uh, Let's see. Okay, so we're not going far from uh, where we sat this morning. We're going a bridge over, and I have it marked. So we are in the right area. That is our mark from this morning, um, our waypoint from this morning, and this is us right here. So we're just gonna go down this creek and go past our mark from the, this morning and uh, sit up on a ridge up there. So, guys, like I said, if y'all don't have a base map, go download it. I tried guys, I tried. All right guys, so we just cleaned Zach's animal. I'm not gonna show too much, but uh, I don't know how to open these new style coolers. This is Zach's cooler, and it's filled to the brim. That's all you get to see. So, um, he's just gonna do a European mount. He don't wanna do a shoulder mount, but I'm gonna do a shoulder mount where the two front feet are standing on a rock. So, to do that, um, obviously you want all the chaps, but you don't want to do anything. I mean, you can take the back off first, but start right here at the heel. I'm going to come up. He's, uh, he's been in the cooler all day, so he's a little tough. But you want to come up behind those chaps. You don't want to cut through the chaps. Don't mind that, that's just a tracker. By the way, I'm using my Northern Knives Mac. My go-to knife. And then you wanna bring it up to uh, up to here. You wanna give your taxidermist plenty of room to work with. And you can just cut that straight across like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll show you what it looks like whenever we get it pulled down to the head. That's basics of it. It's all caped out. You can see you got the hooves on there, um, on both, and then about halfway down the body. So we're going to finish skinning it out, get all the meat off, and then uh, that's what's going to the taxidermist. All right, guys, we just got finished up. We just got finished up cleaning these all dad, cape mine out, and uh, still got a cape jacks out. But got some back strap right now. We're about to go cook some steak. So we're going to do steak versus all dad back strap. Take about that much, and uh, I'll see you guys in the house. We'll go stake this up and uh, tenderize a little bit, see what she tastes like. Taking this silver skin off, taking it down, cutting it into steaks, and then uh, I need a, really need a fillet knife to do this, but you can just take it off just like you would skin off of a fish. Just like that right there. Now you have a nice little all dad steak. Take this last one off. All we're gonna do is tenderize them a little bit. Rub them, rub them down in some olive oil. Put some uh, critter glitter on there and grill's ready. It's ready and hot. And uh, I'm gonna see how all that backstrap tastes. Big, old, all that backstrap for that matter. We don't have a, I normally use saran wrap, but we're gonna try it with a bag. We'll just throw these in a bag. It just keeps, keeps from everything splattering, doing all that business. Throw them in a the bag. Flatten them out, take a little mallet. Now we got our semi-tenderized all-dad steaks. Take some 
Just a little bit of olive oil. Or a lot. They like to come out quick. And I'll just rub those around in some olive oil. Just like that. And then, take some critter glitter. I did not bring critter glitter red, but we're gonna use some fishing fowl. And uh, should be good. All right, they're ready. We're gonna go throw steaks on and uh, these backstrap steaks. And uh, I'll see you when they're done. See what they taste like. All right, Zach, come here. We gotta do some taste testing real quick. That That's boudin and steaks for the main course. We're gonna do a little taste test real quick on some all bad. Ooh, that one's perfectly cooked. A little medium rare. Hot. Get you a bite of that. And give me a rating from one to ten. Tough. I knew it was gonna be tough. Wow. That's pretty good. Thank God. One out of ten. Seven and a half, seven five. That's pretty good. That was tough. But the flavor is super good. I'm gonna give the toughness a two. I'm gonna give the or I'm gonna give the tenderness a two. I'm gonna give the flavor like an eight point four. El Jefe behind the camera a piece. You said it's kinda of tough. It is tough, but flavor good. Take you a bite of that. Hey, Jeff, get you a piece. That is pretty good, actually. Tough, but good. The flavor's good. One yeah, out I like of, that. One out of ten. I'll give it a. I'll give it a five and a half. Yep, that sounds <laughs> good. Two on the tenderness and. Yeah. Yeah, eight on flavor. Yeah, that flavor is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, we're gonna get back to. Uh, enjoying deer camp and eat some grub and i'm taking a shower and going to bed so i'll see you guys in the morning guys this was a awesome trip zach congrats dude Thanks. good job jeff's behind the camera he got him on this morning but that that right there is awesome i can't wait to come back here hopefully we get invited back here to do it again i hope you guys enjoyed this episode huge shout out to base map like i said in the past link in the description go check them out go download the free app uh it's awesome. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.